Wednesday, December 5th, 1962. This is Atlas Day at the Cape. An all Air Force crew, veteran airmen who began with the prop-driven aircraft and progressed through jets to the rocket age, and the young airmen of the new age prepare Atlas number 544 for launching. This is the last of the research and development flights for this stainless steel giant, the 105th launch in the series, which began at Cape Canaveral on June 11, 1957. That first flight lasted but 58 seconds, ending in a mass of flame that was visible for miles. As short as the flight was, the Atlas team, a close-knit group of Air Force and aerospace industry engineers, collected facts or data, the real payoff in research and development flights. More tests, more facts, and the 82-foot-tall, 130-ton missile gained in reliability. It's three rocket motors developing thrust to hurl a dummy warhead more than 9,000 miles down the Atlantic Missile Range. And now, on this day, December the 5th, 1962, the last research and development flight. All systems were go. The Air Force crew moved smoothly through the countdown without a hitch. Propulsion, go. Autopilot and hydraulic, go. GE Airborne, go. RF system, go. Acoustica, go. Landline, go. Telemetry, go. No stones, go. Fuel and locks control, go. Pneumatic, go. Water system, go. Ignition. Liftoff. Atlas 544 is on its way. The accurate eyes of the camera record the even flame pattern, and the vernier engines burning on the sides of the Atlas indicate response to the guidance signals, already aiming the payload toward the proper point in space. The mighty Atlas, combat ready, a rugged, reliable deterrent weapon, operational with the Strategic Air Command. And now the Atlas programs. That is, it turns into its trajectory. Telemetry signals give the Earthbound crew a real-time reading on flight progress. High above the Earth, cameras installed to give the engineers a good look at first stage burnout and booster separation are triggered into action. These cameras drop off 600 miles downrange to be recovered by Air Force pararescue men. The instrument-laden nose cone will be picked up 5,000 miles downrange by an Atlantic Missile Range ocean vessel. The mission is complete, and back at Cape Canaveral, the book is closed on an era while attention turns to new challenges. 